Oh yeah. Hi everybody, it's Quagonjin here. This video is going to be a little bit different. I like to play with my voice and it's something I've always done. I have a little bit of a knack for mimicry, so I thought I would just show you some of the different voices I like to use. If you have a deep baritone, it's really easy to do announcer guy and you just have to over enunciate. So let's say someone called you and you'd be like, well, hello there. Thank you for calling me here. I was wondering if there was something I could do to help you. This is not a difficult voice to do. All you have to do is go from really high to really low and over enunciate. Make sure your mouth is really moving because in North America, we tend to cut everything really short and move without our mouths doing a lot of the work. Yeah. And another accent is New Zealand, which I'll throw in too. It's a lot of fun. It's so difficult. In New Zealand, they are ever so polite, ever so pleasant. I mean, made many different excellent friends who were very polite. They resonated with me as a Canadian. I find that everything sounds like a question. I got this tip from a friend of mine and uh, kind of just flew with it. It was a lot of fun. I like the accent. Well, one of the other accents I can do was an Ophelan one, but it sounds a little bit like an Irishman. I don't know if I'm a drunken Irishman or an Ophelander by. So some of the things about being an Ophelander is they got a lot of uh, slang, which I don't understand. So things like Madaki and Madeer and yes by. I also noticed that these uh, pluralize a lot of things, so I can't I can't stand it when uh, everything has an S when it shouldn't have it. It's very difficult to do. And and that's sort of an Irish accent, sort of a Newfoundland accent. They intertwine because I'm not actually from either place. I grew up in uh, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, so I heard the accent once in a while, and I understand it. My brother does it really well, but he lives out there, so that makes total sense. Okay, what's another one? Let's go with um, Jason Statham's wonderful Cockney British. <sighs> it takes a moment to warm up to this one. All right, mate. Thanks, guys, for your help, brother. His house is filling with water. Talking like this makes me throat at class. I haven't got none. That's better. But that girl is well fit, mate. Do you know what I mean? Much like the Newfoundland and the Irish accent, it's one that you need to practice a lot or you'll slip out of it with a lot of different words, but damn, that hurts the throat. All right, mice, we'll find another one. Okay, I don't do impressions when I'm playing with my voice because it's really just playing and it's not a science, but I'm not a comedian or impressionist. Those guys are freaking amazing. But while we're on the subject of celebrities, one of my favorites is that guy. Oh my, Christopher... Walking is crazy that way because he doesn't make sense until you listen to the fact that he has no punctuation. Okay, and uh, it's not it's not that difficult to do, but it's definitely a caricature and it's not exact. Uh, take a look at like Kevin Pollock or uh, Kevin Spacey. It has something to do with Kevin's. Those guys can do Chris Walken impressions. Amazing. Let's put those aside and get to more cartoony ones. I like hitting high notes with my voice because it, it's naturally fairly deep. And so people get a little amazed when they hear like Mickey Mouse. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, uh, this is difficult. <clears throat> hmm. That was not easy. Hi, guys. Everybody likes to talk to Mickey. Well, even if I say really disgusting things like I'm going to pull out your eyeballs and step on them until they pop like grapes. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Mickey, you've got a problem. You're weird. And when I was a kid, I had braces. So I understand what it's like to have too much crap in your mouth that makes you sound funny. So one of the coolest characters on the internet that makes me laugh, I think it's a weird kind of humor, is Keith Apicary. Maybe I'll put a uh, link to his stuff in, in the description. It's uh, Nathan Barnett, the guy who was the, I don't think he might still be the Skittles spokesperson, but Keith Apicary is really good at sounding like he has headgear in his mouth. And you gotta have a little bit of spit in your mouth when you talk like this. And the coolest thing to say is, you guys want to go play Dungeons and Dragons? Because it's so much fun. It's such a good thing to do. And the cool thing about this voice is, the girls find it so sexy. Sexy. One second. Cool. It's actually so sexy. These girls love me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yep that was hot and another one um let's go with like a lisp so we can do a cartoon character that also has a lisp so we combine two this guy talks a bit like this that's just crazy i don't know what's going on this is despicable despicable <laughs> Oh my god. There's something about this voice that just makes me feel like a stupid idiot. I don't know. I think, uh, I don't sound like a most intelligent person, and I don't have any. All of my S's are S's. All of my S's, S's are S's. S's. This is one of those times when I need a pop screen, because I'm sure I'm spitting all over this thing. Well, 
I've moved the microphone closer. Why? Because everybody likes Deus Ex Revolution and The Witcher, and those guys have the most badass, gravelly, emotionless voice ever. And yeah, I have to eat the microphone to mimic it, but oh my god, I would love to voice act an RPG protagonist. Wouldn't you all? I don't know. I don't think these murders are a coincidence. I'm gonna look into it, and if I find out you had something to do with it, heads will roll. That would be the life, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd love to do some voice acting. Um, I'm completely coachless and have never done any of it before, but it would just be it'd be a blast. I, I just I love playing with my voice. It's fifty percent of why I have this channel is not just because I love video games, but also because I like chatting while I'm while I'm doing them. So yeah, video game protagonist would be pretty badass, or you know, like a Batman voice. As long as I'm not sounding like I'm eating, you know, like I, I, I'm pretty sure Christian Bale went a little too far. But if you drop it down and you hunch over and you get close to the microphone and you just channel your inner emotionless person, well. I think you can do it. Try it. It's a lot of fun. This is what I sound like when I'm having fun. Are you having fun? All right. And in practicing this last one, oh, I was sweating. I had to lose the vest. Actually, it's just getting warm in here. So, uh, a Slavic or a Russian accent. Vladimir is having a problem with his neighbor, so I will send multiple guys to come and get you. I find it, it is easy to say some of these words, but I do not know all of them. Grozny. Grozny. I can't roll my R's very well, but uh, I, I, oh, the Russian accent is so cool. It's such a great accent, and it's one of those ones where I really have to spend a long time practicing it for it to come out all the time. But I work for the government, and I am having a problem with my telephone. Uh, Grozny, my friend, he will tell you that I am not very good at English, is all my eyes, is, eyes, is. <laughs> are confused. It's, it's, yeah, Russian. I love it. I want to have a deep Russian accent so I can sound like a bad guy, which I'm coming to get you. You better watch out. Yeah, see? That yet. That t at the end. That was a little bit cockney, but still, still a lot of fun. Yeah, Russian. Well, that's it, guys. That's just me messing with voices and goofing around. Um, feel free to make fun of me. I I'm totally doing it as a hobby and not a professional. It's not what I do for a living at all. I work in the gym industry and I play video games. So I, I just like messing with my voice and I thought I'd share it with you. So I'm completely shameless. It doesn't bother me at all. Anyway, guys, you have yourself a wonderful day and thanks kindly. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks guys. On the left you'll see my What Is This series, and on the right, my most anticipated games of 2016.